Hey, can we talk? Yeah, I've been thinking and, uh, you know, I'm getting old. You know, it's, it's not you, it's me. It's just that you're so much bike and I'm, I'm having a hard time handling your awesomeness. I guess what I'm saying is I'm no longer worthy. Don't look at me that way. I know we've been together a long time. We've had some amazing rides. Look at the bright side. You get to be with a young couple that's gonna take you on rides and be part of rallies and all that fun stuff that I wasn't able to do with you. So I know that uh, it's hard to, to break up, but it's time for you to move on. I'm gonna miss you. Bye bye. Sorry about the cheesy intro. Hey guys, Dave from Timber Time Outdoors. Thank you for tuning in here. Um, in this video, we're gonna talk about a change in my life. Um, and if you are watching this video, it's very likely that you are interested in doing something similar or at least adding an ADV bike into your arsenal of motorcycles. But I'm gonna basically talk about my situation here and why I did what I'm gonna do. You know, you might be scratching your head going, dude, why would you get rid of this amazing motorcycle? This is the pinnacle of touring bikes. Why would you sell this and buy this? So we're gonna cover that, so let's get after it. Okay, just a little history about me and my riding. Um, so I've been riding for about 15 years. This is my third Harley Davidson. Um, prior to the Harley Davidson, when I first started, I had a Kawasaki Vulcan for a very short time. But for the most part, I've been riding Harleys and touring bikes, and that's my history. So 15 years of riding. And uh, so this is all I know. And um, I have just incredible memories uh, of riding with friends and, um, you know, speaking to the choir here probably if you're a Harley person you know what it's like it's it's just an incredible community and um, and I have no regrets doing that but I'm 55 years old and I noticed last year when I was riding this beautiful motorcycle in Utah um, we uh, trailered the bike out there and I was riding it out there and there's some you know wonderful roads but there's there's a lot of people that live out there and I started feeling not scared, but I was having a lot of confidence issues. And so, um, you know, I kind of agonized over this over the winter and I kind of came to this conclusion. I got three choices and here's what they are. So choice number one, and by the way, these choices are related to safety, okay? So I was feeling unsafe out there. So choice number one is stop motorcycling. Sell this motorcycle, never ride again, um, not an option. Um, I, I enjoy motorcycling so much that I had to figure this out. So obviously that is a choice, but it was one that I just quickly discounted. So then I'm figuring out, okay, well, how can I continue to ride and have confidence and stay enthusiastic about riding, but also, you know, make sure that I'm going to be safe out there. So I felt like I had two choices. I could go, I could go with three wheels, right? I could go trike. I could do, uh, uh, what is it called? The Spider. You know, Spiders are super cool. Um, considered that, I, I looked at some trikes and I actually went and test drove a Spider. Um, I thought maybe my wife would like to ride on the Spider. She said no, so she doesn't ride with me and just had no interest in that. And so um, I considered that, but uh, you know, I don't know. It just didn't feel right. And, and the other option is to go with a much lighter motorcycle. Can I can I get some confidence back if I kind of downsize? And obviously you can see what I did. I obviously, you know, purchased uh, an ADV bike. You know, I wish, I wish I was a two motorcycle person. I wish I kept this and had this, and maybe some of you are gonna do that. Um, more power to you if you can do that, because then you got the best of both worlds in my personal opinion. I'm not a two motorcycle person, so uh, this motorcycle is sold and I'm actually uh, taking it to the, the new owners um, nice young couple from Oshkosh, Wisconsin, and uh, they're gonna they're gonna have some fun with this bike. So, so what did I do? I went and bought the Tiger 900, and um, and let's talk about why and you know 
maybe the next chapter in my motorcycling. Okay, so, you know, I am a novice when it comes to ADV bikes, and I would argue I'm somewhat of a novice when it comes to motorcycle in general. You know, 15 years is not that much experience when you're 55 years old. I started this kind of late in my life. Um, I, I have some friends that have been mentoring me along the way, and so I really do appreciate that. But, uh, you know, when it comes to the ADV world, I basically know nothing. Um, I purchased this motorcycle for two reasons. Number one, it weighs about half of what this one does. So, you know, this weight is an asset when you're cruising down the highway at 65, 70 miles an hour, it just, nothing stops it. It just crushes wind, crushes bugs. You know, we always joke, you know, you can smoke cigarettes on this thing. <laughs> wind protection's amazing, power's amazing. It's amazing. Um, but it's so heavy and, you know, when you're on pavement and, um, and that kind of thing, it's not so bad. Um, you know, I adjusted the seat and I, you know, I can flat foot on this bike, but I'm starting to travel with this motorcycle. So I put it in the trailer and I take it out west. You know, I've ridden every road around here in Wisconsin 500 times and actually kind of bored with it. So I've been trailering it. And that's really the, the main reason that I'm switching is that this is a very difficult motorcycle to trailer. And we're in, you know, campsites and some dirt roads. And it's, it's just kind of sketchy. And of course, I talked about you know, Utah and, and the amount of people out west, it's just uh, confidence was going down. And so, you know, bring on the half the weight, 450 pounds, 900 pounds. That was the main reason. This is a lot easier to get into the trailer, get it out of the trailer. Um, it's a lot easier for me to move it around with my feet. I just feel more confident with it. Um, I could, I could literally like lay it down and pick it back up where this one, you know, when it starts to tip, it's going, you're not stopping it. So, um, that was really the main thing is I was trying to get back some confidence. You know, I'm only five foot seven, um, again, 55 years old, you start to get a little weaker in the arms and whatnot. And so, uh, you know, I, I, I did it mainly for the weight. And then the second reason is this is a whole new world, right? Um, Adventure bikes are super popular and they bring on a whole nother world of roads, you know? So this is a pavement machine. This is a pavement machine and a dirt machine. And you know, if you're a super skilled person, you can take it into some really sketchy stuff. You know, I don't know where that's gonna go for me. I'm gonna start with dirt roads and, and slowly learn how to ride off pavement. Um, you know, I've done a lot of uh, ATV stuff and UTV stuff and been out on those roads before, but never on two wheels. And I've always been kind of intimidated by it, but uh, you know, I'm gonna tinker with that. I mean, um, you know, where we take these motorcycles, Wyoming, Montana, um, Colorado, there's just uh, endless, endless amounts of roads that you can go on and take you to some beautiful vistas. And so um, that was really the other reason is that, uh, you know, it's going to you know, open up that new world for me I'm going to be able to um, see new things and hopefully stay enthusiastic about motorcycling. So I think we'll, we'll kind of wrap things up here, um, you know, explain the situation. So if you are, you know, thinking about doing this, either adding a motorcycle, an ADV bike, or switching to something where you're gonna gain some confidence, you know, ride along with me, hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna film, you know, this bike and me doing some things over the summer and the coming years, you know, it's. I'm not an ADV channel, um, an outdoor channel. So I do lots of stuff. We go fishing and we do firewood. We do lots of things on this channel, but um, I'm gonna feature this motorcycle and try to bring some entertaining content to you. So um, if you wanna you know, ride along with me and learn as I learn, hit that subscribe button. All right, let's wrap it up, it's getting long. Thanks for watching guys. Like, subscribe, send it to your friends and remember everybody, keep it in the timber. Bye bye.